you know. Give uh, our partner a little thumbs up there. I get it. When you get to that point, it's like, okay, who, who's who's gonna who's gonna get found first? Then it really is hide and seek. But then killers are go, you guys are being boring. Why are you hiding? Should have been working on gins. <laughs> yeah, you should have been making the game easy. That guy was genuinely angry at you for killing yourself on now, and if, denying him a 4K. If I knew, if you would have been like, yeah, this dude's working gins, Ben. Then that changes. Then I, I start working gents. Yeah. Right? Then I would. I would try. Like, but, but as soon as you told me, yeah, he's just hiding. Uh, then I'm like, okay, well, that's GG. I can't win this game on my own. Like, uh, you know, not. I'm not noob. Uh, yeah. I don't even noob. The 20 minute chase. That person did no gens. Yeah. So. You know. For me, yeah, I get it. For you. The other person, not a fun match. Uh, they, uh, they, you know, I had a good chase, uh, very powerful loop. He was trying to use his power. Uh, honestly, like any killer that wants to beat me, they just need to go ahead and come through the pallet uh, and don't try to be cute with your power. Like you can, no, you can get me with your power too, but if you want to beat me at a hard loop, just chase me down and won me. Um, I might even panic and throw the pallet. Shouldn't. Not good. I'm always like huntresses. I'm always surprised how long I can loop a lot of them. Uh, because, you know, huntress mains, they want to hit you with that hatchet. Like, that is, like, that's an adrenaline rush right there. Like, I got you with my hatchet. And you can make them pull up so many times. Uh, it's generally only if they see, um, cause you'll, they'll lose track of time. Like in the game of hitting you with a hatchet, it's only when they realize they're down to like maybe a gen, they're like, I need to hit this guy. I just need to ax him down, get him on a hook and, and then do what I need to do to recover. But yeah. I've been in a lot of games like, you know, when a killer wants to use their power, when a Wesker wants to use his power. I've been able to loop them like that quite a bit, because... Emer emergency pee break. I gotta go. I was like, hey man, this I'm alright, I'm good. I got I got another game in me. And then my bladder's like, do no, you don't. now? <laughs> You're not the boss. Oh, you do not. I'm the You're boss. Not the boss of me. <laughs> You're an old man, I call the shots yeah. now. <laughs> I'll let you know. Can I just stay in bed a little while longer? Nope. You're gonna get up right now.
Hmm, how are you? I kind of think a tackle should be good at blocking pass rushers. That's just my thought, but... All right. It should be good at tackle. So I, is there a tackle? I gave, <laughs> I gave you Bo Nix and Chop Robinson, which... With, like, I gave you Bo Nix, Chop Robinson, Quentin Mitchell, Quinian Mitchell, Byron Murphy the second. So uh, I gave you a quarterback to build around. I gave you a, a new defensive line, uh, a new set of corners, uh, a new guard. If this is your draft, I would I would be like, yeah, man, yeah. Uh, I gave the Niners a whole bunch of offensive line, a new backup quarterback, and some depth at corner. All right, here we are in Auto Hidden. Okay, it, it's it's uh, uh, by the garbage truck. That's the three gen side right now. Uh, so bottom, you need to work your way to top. I'm already at bottom. Now, Shaq is bottom, which is weird because you got to go up. Oh. Yeah, this this is us. You got to go the other way. Oh yeah, you want. I'm that. doing something real important. Yep. I saw something around the center jungle gym. Yeah, there's a bird. Wow. Hey, that's a brand new see. part. That's a brand new part in that tool. Toolbox. I grabbed a purple med kit. Work on a gen down yonder way. Is that a spirit? Am I hearing the whoosh? I'm not hearing the whoosh. Doesn't mean it's not spirit, though. Yeah, it's spirit. Oh. Well, oh. no, oh, GG's. We're best. I got the brand new part in that. Is that you? No, I'm all the way here on the, uh, I guess this would be the shack side over here. Let's call this the 6 o'clock shack at 6. I'm at about 7 right now on the hill. Jen at 7. Someone's gonna get a gen done also over here on this side, I'm assuming. Oh wow, how did she do that? Oh man. Did she get it done or does Scourge come into play? No, she let go! Come on! Come on! Oh, she's so afraid of Scourge, she's not even gonna try. She could have beat it. She could have beat the wire. So now she gave Scourge Hook to our most progressed gen. What is she doing over there? Like it looks like she's, she's looping. Can you go to go to my right? Go to my right and finish that gen. Like to your right? Oh, that gen up there? That, that one. Go to okay. go to that gen by the main. My by gen's the on the hill. The hill. My gen. Still kind of up here. Well, she got a three gen there, so she doesn't really have to worry. Back to your gen, lady. I'm not yelling at you. Are you running away from? I'm running up the map toward the three gen. I'm running away from. That gen is almost dead. She gave it to them. Oh, I'm so angry. All she had to do is get on the gen, stay on the gen. And now... Yep, sorry, I tried to yep. keep now, her attention on me. Now I'm dead. Me. Tried now to I'm keep dead. her attention on me. She saw me. But I was, so I was pretty, like, I don't think she's engaging in chase. Like, she has everyone injured. Now there's another chase going on there. 
OMG. Trying to get her picked up. Ah. Of course, that's where she is. <laughs> oh, wow, she has the add on. She has mother daughter ring. This whole thing goes away if she had just finished that bloody gen. Then she got mangled. They're going to try to heal with mangled. Like that's going to make a difference. You win this game by doing gens. And when you let, like you gave her a scourge. You gave it to her on the three gen side. And it's, oh my goodness. Like, we have to reset and start the game over. She's in chase. She's coming after me, I think. Maybe not. Nope. I don't know why she was chasing me for a while, and then she just stopped. I don't know. Well, she's just making sure that the gens, she got to scourge that, that gen the rest of the way into oblivion. Does she have scourge? Not scourge, she has scourge. Does she have, uh... Nope. Nothing to do. <clears throat> oh, they're healed up. The worst, worst, worst part of the game. We gotta get all the way down the map. Let's go. Yep, nope, doesn't matter. Go behind you. <laughs> wow! Again, just do the gen. The amount of time it takes there's, for the dragger to the hook. But there's like no more pop, right? Like. Well, she she that's that's what I'm angry about. That's what I'm annoyed at. Like angry is too strong a word. There it is. Oh. Nice. Aww. It's the biffle. It's... Uh. 
by waiting to by 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 waiting out of fear for that perk, you let the perk actually do what you were afraid of it doing. Like, sure, maybe she has Scourge, but if you don't try, like, nothing happens. Yeah, that would Xbox never work for me. Players. So, I have a feeling like our MMR is dropping. G, G. Hopefully. better looper than I am, but you stink at gens. If you were better at gens, you wouldn't need the loop like this much. And she's running right at the partner. Right at her. Like she's got a compass. Congrats, you got your partner killed. Good for you. And now you're the last to die. Well, maybe you'll get the hatch and you're like, see, you're an idiot. You know? It's like she purposefully wanted to 99 a gen, so it will go down to nothing. See that gen? That gen has a brand new part in it. And it was at, like, well past 90%. By the way, that hatch isn't there. doing see now you're the last to die congrats like see the play it doesn't work like it doesn't do anything for you oh she missed like now if her goal is like I want a lot of fun looping then okay you're getting exactly what you want no oh. she mind game it did you there you go So, you can argue whether or not she had enough time to finish the gen. But my point is, in not even making the effort, she she created a focal point for the whole game that was never yeah. going to get done. Yeah. And she did it when, like, it couldn't possibly have been a thing. She's like, oh, I better wait on this gen, because I don't like gens. Saved the best for last. Got me again. I thought that was a pretty good play. She's like, nope. <laughs> I won't get you through this window. That was a good play. She just had the perk that countered it. I want to play more, but one, it, it's late. And two, you know, I, I stand behind my assertions. If, if that player had just finished that gen instead of being afraid of the very thing that she caused to happen, then it's a very different game. It is a completely different game. Um, but, 
you gotta recognize when you're when you're feeling that degree of emotion, like it's time to call it a night. It's time to it's it's time to let it go. Um, you know, but you're talking about how unbalanced the game is when you had a night where you escaped three out of ten times. So thirty percent that's not far from our average. And the team went four and six, so I guess that's, you know, like, hey, your team is pretty close. Four out of, like, w the team had a 40% escape rate. You know, so when when things are going that south, if I were playing solo, well, no matter what, I'd go to bed. But, you know, again, you start to get that angry, you play killer. Why? Because you'll win. <laughs> you know? You'll win. Bring whatever perk. Don't even need perks and add-ons. It's so fun to play killer. And the people who are like, oh, it's so super stressful. No, it isn't. It's only stressful if you're like, I want to win every game. It's stressful to be a survivor because I want to win any game. Like, I want to win at all. And it is not stressful when you win mo more than you don't. It is stressful when you got to sweat blood to 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 win at all and it gets you you have to rely on teammates and you know what I should not be as as is as frustrated as I am because you know the 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 survivor the tactic the survivor wasn't like insane except for your gen is 99% and she's got to pick up and carry to a hook. And again, maybe maybe you get it. Maybe you don't. Uh, but if you if you don't try, you you hand the killer so much. So much. And she found her three gens. She worked it. Now, maybe you want to blame three gens. Well, uh, that map is the fairest map in the game. Because if you if you three gen that map, you you meant to that you did it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So so you know it, it's just it's just right, you know. And then you look at it this way: uh, AOWF has had sixteen winning nights and thirty five losing nights and three ties. So this year he's had nineteen out of. 40, 54, 19 winning nights out of 54 nights. I don't know. What is that? Math. 35 percent of the nights he's had. But that's just <laughs> counting winning nights. So if he went four and three, that doesn't replace the night we had this year where he went three and 13. You know, now overall, you know, he uh, he gets out 43% of the time. I got to round up now. I get out 44% of the time, and I got to round up for that. It's 42.72 and 43.61. And you're like, well, see, that shows you how whatever it is. I keep the data because I can give you evidence. Anyone can be like, I lose all the time, and they don't have any numbers to back it up. They just feel a kind of way. Mm-hmm. I can actually show you. No, I don't think I lose all the time. I know I lose 58% of the time. I can show you. I've had 80 losing nights. I've had 54 winning nights and 17 tie nights. So I've had 71. I'm a lot closer, but I play a lot more. And so that's kind of what creates this paradigm and I don't want to not play a game that I used to enjoy. And there are times when I still enjoy it, but I'm playing more and more and more killer because I like winning. <laughs> so, you know, it, 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 it just kind of goes to show you like where, where this winning game is fun. Winning is fun. And I got to be honest, like last night, my brother signed off, and I did some stuff. And I'm like, hey, I want to save these changes, so I'll play a killer game. I played a game as Alien, and I got worked. 
So I felt a kind of way. So I played another game as Alien. I got a 4K, and I got a 4K against a team that was, uh, they were, uh, they had the, the build that we used a couple times where you have boil over and all that other stuff. You can't hook. And I'm like, yeah, but I know this build. So I just slug you all to death. And then they were like really angry. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> you, you, created, you created the circumstances. You're mad because your plan didn't work. But you played Survivor. You probably should. You probably should have known better. Now again, I get work sometimes. But when I play Killer, I win fifty-one percent of the time. When I play Survivor, I dream of 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 being on that average across six, seven hundred games. This year, thus far, uh, I have played. Uh, uh, the Dead by Daylight year. So since July, I played 1,346 games, and I've escaped 587 times, which is 44%, just about. And, you know, I'll, I'll have, like, this big night where I get out a lot, but what makes it unfun is, and, and I have to play, like, optimal and sweaty, and so I get frustrated when people don't. So again, like I, I, I have guilt feelings. I feel bad that I got angry at that person in a moment. But, you know, we're, we, most of the games in this match were like, nope, we don't have a chance. Like, and the game needs, the game needs to do whatever it can do to help solo queue. Now, look, I'm playing with my brother. But again, like if you're not a four man swift, you run into this stuff. You're running this stuff so much. And, um, if you want the game to be healthy, you need solo queue to be the healthiest part of the game. And then you can balance the killers around that paradigm. And,. You need that because solo queue is where all your players are. Solo queue, like, like maybe it's a two-man friend, so it's two and two or, or whatnot. But the odds that you're facing four people on comms, I, uh, the first thing, if I ran Dead by Daylight tomorrow, I could snap my fingers. At the end game, I would have some sort of symbol that said these were on a team. Because everyone thinks they're playing four-man. Uh, yeah. You know? And maybe... But I doubt it. When I'm playing solo queue and my teammates are like on point, when we're playing, uh, when we're playing and our teammates are on point, uh, it 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 can get a little rough. But it's still on the killer to like play into that mindset. We had like two or three games where we're like this killer never stood a chance. But that's because he couldn't he couldn't get like you you. If you have three people on gens and one guy in chase, that's a three gen chase if they just run around for 90 seconds. So you really need like two good loops to get 90 seconds. You loop a guy, you take a hit, you shift W, you loop a guy, and then three gens are done, and then that killer's freaking out. It's just so rare. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm advocating for a game that is balanced, that is fun for both sides. <coughs> It's not fun camping and tunneling when you're a killer. It's just what you do to win. And, you know, Hens did this thing where I don't need to camp and tunnel to win. No, you're right. You don't. But if you do, you win a lot easier and you play tournaments and that's how you win tournaments. So you may not need to, but you're going to if you think you do. You know what I mean? So, so... As long as that is the, as long as that's the nuclear option, as long as that's the, the thing you do, then, then one role will, one role will be bored because they don't get to experiment and try different things. And the other role will get bored because they get rolled every game. Just imagine a world where your ability to catch a survivor and the survivor's ability to, to evade you is what determines the game. Yeah. Yeah. So, we hope you have a great night. Uh, I'm going to call it because I got a few end of night things that I do. Uh, but uh, we'll say good night. I've cooled off. Uh, please, uh, he may or may not have Scourge. 
Uh, but you gotta you gotta pressure gens. You gotta be on it. And it, it, look, if you're not gonna do the gen, then like run away. Don't be standing there by the gen. Like something. Like either do the gen or run away. Either is better than stand at gen and not do anything. Um, so that's apart from the emotion of it. That's just the fact. Um, and you know, uh, I, I'm not going to change anyone's mind. If you, if you play kill and you want to win, you camp in your tunnel. Uh, do you have to? No, but if you want to guarantee it, there you go. Uh, I don't use perks and I, I, I tie or win way more. You know, if I added ties and just compared non-losses to losses, it'd be ridiculous. It is ridiculous, especially considering I'm not even bringing any defense. Uh, I, I have like eight wins in a row with Wraith with this build that I have. Uh, uh, you know, maybe one day I'll play with a little bit more, but like you, you add perks to it and you just make the game more miserable. It's more fun for me, though. It's really fun when you're, you're hitting people and you're downing them and you're finding them everywhere and they're so adorable because they're hiding in a corner and I have an add-on that lets me see through walls. Like, Killer's way more fun. Uh, you know, uh, and I'm not going to change, you know, anyone's mind, but I'm going to continue to advocate for it. Uh, but I'm going to try to live in the world that I'm in, which means I gotta, I gotta play optimally. Uh, I am chasing better and where, what I failed at tonight, like Ben did a great job. Uh, I had bad chases, but when I had, I don't know. I think when I had good chases, I was like, I did well. I just didn't have a lot of good chases. Um, so I guess that's something I need to keep practicing, but that's kind of what I've been doing for the last two weeks. So we'll keep it up, but we'll say goodnight, and uh, we'll see you around.